Today I am going to talk to you about the past continuous tense. My name's Lizzie and I'm a photographer. In my job I have taken many photos. I took this photo on the 29th of April 2011 at 11.30 a.m. What do you think? What was happening when I took the photograph? Prince William and Princess Catherine were getting married. In this sentence, I am using the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is about past actions which were continuing over a specific time in the past. For example, in this photo, I took the photograph at 11.30, which is a specific time. The prince and princess getting married is the continuing action, because getting married takes longer than just one minute. This picture might make things clearer. The start of this line is the past, and the end of this line is the present. The two crosses show when they started getting married and when they finished getting married. The line in the middle shows when I took the photo. They were getting married when I took the photo, but there is also time before I took the photo and afterwards when they are still getting married. I took this photograph on Saturday the 4th of August 2012 at 8pm. What was this man doing? when I took this photograph. He was running the 5,000 metre race at the London Olympics. Again, this sentence uses the past continuous tense to show that he was running the race before I took the photo, while I took the photo at 8pm, and after I took the photo. Now let's look at the grammar of the past continuous tense. First we need a subject, like I, he, she, or you. Then we need the past tense of to be. For I, he, she and it, this is was for positive sentences and was not or wasn't for negative sentences. For you, we and they, it is were for positive sentences and were not or weren't for negative sentences. Then we need the verb, for example, read, wait, talk or sit, plus ing, making the verbs reading, waiting, talking or sitting. Here are some examples. Take a look at this. What do you think was happening in this photograph that I took last week? The woman was reading a book. Here we have the subject, woman, the past tense of to be, was, then the verb read plus ing. They were sitting on the bench. They is the subject, were is the past tense of to be, sit is the verb plus ing. The people were talking. The people is the subject, were is the past tense of to be, talk is the verb plus ing. The man was getting off the train. The man is the subject, was is the past tense of to be, get is the verb plus ing. Now you try, talk to your partner. What was your teacher doing when you came into the classroom today? So how do we make questions in the past continuous tense? First, we need the past tense of to be, either was or were, depending on the subject. 
Then we need the subject, then the verb, and then ing. For example, was I reading? Were you sitting? Then to answer these questions, if your subject is I, he, she or it, you start with yes or no, then the subject, then either was or wasn't. For example, yes I was or no she wasn't. If your subject is you, we or they, you start with yes or no, then the subject, then either were or weren't. For example, yes, you were, or no, we weren't. Here are some examples. Was she waiting at the bus stop? Here we have was, the past tense of to be, she, the subject, wait, the verb, plus ing. Was she reading a newspaper? Was is the past tense of to be. She is the subject. Read is the verb plus ing. The other two questions are similar. Was she sitting on the bench? Was she wearing a pink coat? However, this time the verbs are sit plus ing and wear plus ing. Here are the answers. First, we have yes she was this is a positive answer so we have yes then the subject she and then was this is the same for the question about her pink coat however look at the other two answers they are negative answers so we have no then the subject she and wasn't let's recap we use the past continuous tense to talk about past actions which were continuing over a specific period of time. You always use the past tense of the verb to be. This will be was, wasn't, were or weren't. You also need the verb plus ing. For sentences, we need the subject, the past tense of to be, the verb and then ing. For questions we need the past tense of to be, the subject, the verb and then ing.